Hello, thank you for coming to our presentation. My name is Avery. Today we are presenting Sage, saliency guided mix-up with optimal rearrangements. This work was done in collaboration with Nikita, Ren, Leila, Costa, and Afsani. Data augmentation is very important for training accurate models since it reduces overfitting and improves generalization. Conventional data augmentation approaches such as photometric and geometric transformations only create slightly altered copies of the original image and thus only introduce very limited diversity in the augmented data set. More advanced data augmentation approaches combines multiple images into new image label pair leading to increased diversity of the augmentation set. However, these approaches are mostly agnostic to image semantics. That is, they ignore the object, object location cues, and as a result, produce ambiguous scene with occluded regions. The motivation of this project is to explicitly use visual saliency in the process of data augmentation. The main idea behind Sage is to synthesize novel images and their labels by blending pairs of training samples using spatial saliency information as guidance for optimum blending. So given the original image, we first compute saliency maps then we find the best rearrangement of the image that maximizes the total saliency, for instance, in the green box. Finally, we use our saliency guided mixup to fuse the overlapping images and derive the new label. As a result, Sage produced smooth, realistic, and informative new scene. Start with the first, first module, that is to compute the saliency map. We define saliency of each pixel as its importance in making the correct prediction using a given vision model. More formally, we're giving a training sample XY, where X is an RGB image, and Y is the one hole label, and the classifier F data, that is the current, current partially trained model, and our loss L of F data X and Y, measuring the discrepancy between classifiers output and the true label. This could be, for instance, the cross entropy loss. Then we define saliency S as the magnitude of the gradient with respect to the input image. So we're taking the gradient and then take its L2 norm along its third dimension. We propose saliency guided mix-up given two images, XX and X1, and their saliency map as zero and S1. We compute a 2D mask M and use it to mix the image. So N, M is the ratio between S delta zero and the sum of S delta zero, S delta one, and zeta. S delta are essentially spatially normalized and Gaussian smoothed saliency maps. Zeta is the scalar hyperparameter used to avoid division by zero. X prime is the blending result, the new images by mixing X zero with M and X one with one minus M. And this denotes the element-wise product. Here, given image, uh, given original images and their saliency maps, our, our saliency mix-up compute the mixing mask, M, based on the relative saliency of the input. The values in M are represented with the heat map. Blue area indicates stronger contribution of the Poodle image. And the red area can correspond to the Maltese image being more prominent. 
and the pale regions in the mask indicates equal contribution from both images. Consequently, sitting saliency region from different images contribute to different locations and the resulting mixed images is more realistic and more informative. In contrast, the original mix-up produced a uniform mixing mask, which results in an unrealistic and unclear image. One issue is that when the maximally cilian regions in both images spatially overlap, then the mask M tends to suppress one or both objects, which leads to uninformative new scenes. And the proposed solution is to shift one image relative to the other prior to mixing. So let's consider a translation operator that shift the tensor Z by tau pixels as T of Z tau. To measure how successful a given rearrangement is in resolving the saliency overlap, overlap issue, we measure the total saliency after rearrangement and denoted using V of tau. So V of tau is essentially summing up all the saliency values uh, given, a re, uh, given the shift parameter tau. Here, T of S1 tau is the saliency of S1 translated by tau. M tau is the mixing mask computed with S0 and S1 with the shift. Finally, we find the optimal rearrangement tau star by solving the R max problem, where O is the space of all possible offsets. Here are three examples of the results of three possible rearrangements. In each example, the saliency map corresponding to the rearrangement tau is shown on the left. The corresponding mixed result is on the right. We see that C, the rearrangement C, uh, maximizing the total saliency and the resulting images, uh, image is the most informative. The first set experiment shows on classification, image classification, and field shot adaptation. In table one, we show on CIFAR 10 and CIFAR 100 on various architectures that SAGE achieves better or comparable classification accuracy compared to other state-of-the-art data augmentation approaches. In table two, we show that SAGE compared to other um, data augmentation techniques outperforms uh, their future classification accuracy on many image nets. Lastly, we show on out of uh, show we demonstrate Sage in the out of distribution generalization setting. Figure on the left is the robustness versus standard accuracy plot um, methods in methods in green that is mix up and Sage improves both accuracy and robustness relative to the vanilla method. While other approaches improve standard accuracy but at the cost of decreased robustness. On the right, this is a runtime comparison of Sage and other baselines. For Sage, there's no noticeable overheads between the additional forward and backward pass to compute the saliency map. Thank you.